guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the brand new Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. You would not believe the struggles that I've had today. This morning, I woke up super early at like 7 a.m. to film a video and I filmed a full, or not a full face, but I filmed first impressions of the entire Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. And I am so dumb, I didn't turn my microphone on. So this isn't gonna be a first impression on the foundation, which really, really sucks, but I still wanted to do a review and a wear test. So I showed you guys how I put it on, how it looks super close up, what my skin looks like. And then I also am gonna come back about 10 hours from now and show you guys what it looks like on my face after 10 hours. I have very, very oily skin. I get very oily in my T-zone, so my forehead, down my nose, and then a little bit on my cheeks. And then my cheeks back here, a little bit more dry. And then also, I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit here, but I'm gonna do two uploads every Friday of testing out a new foundation. So this Friday, we're only gonna have one foundation just because I literally just decided to do this today and it's Thursday already. I thought it'd be a really cool idea because there's always foundations coming out and even if it's not a new foundation, I still wanna do a bunch of other foundations because so many people wanna see what foundations work like on me because my skin is so oily. And a lot of YouTubers don't have oily skin, I've noticed. Mainly everyone is dry. So enough of me talking now. I'm gonna get right into this video. So if you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And if you wanna know how this foundation works out for me, then just keep on watching. Okay, so since I already filmed the Peaches and Cream Collection first impressions video this morning, this isn't gonna be a first impression but I still wanted to do like a review and a wear test for you guys. So I'm gonna put the foundation on, show you guys up close what it looks like on my skin, and then I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day and then come back after like 10 or so hours and show you guys what it looks like then and then give you guys my final review. So this is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love it. I love that it's in a tube and I also love that it has a pump on it. I love the pink and white with gold lettering on it. I just think it's really pretty. I got the shade Natural Beige and there's 12 shades in this foundation range, which honestly I think they should expand because when I was looking online, the darkest shade did not look nearly as dark as I think they should have gone. So this foundation is $36. It is supposed to be a matte finish and a medium coverage so it isn't going to be a full coverage foundation and it's also supposed to last up to 14 hours it says it's oil free oil controlling and photo friendly. So I am gonna be testing the flashback on this too. And then it also says that it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream, which is what the entire collection is infused with. So it all is gonna have that same smell and it does smell really good. This tube of foundation has 48 milliliters or 1.6 fluid ounces of product in it. If you compare this to the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, this is $39 and has one ounce or 29.57 milliliters. So one ounce of foundation is in this bottle and then 1.6 ounces is in this so you are getting more product for less money too okay so i think that's all i have to say about the foundation now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to do half my face with a beauty blender and then half with a brush just to compare the difference and then i'm also going to be priming my face with the new primed and peachy cooling matte primer by Too faced so this you're supposed to pair with this for it to work its best. So I just fi figured I'd give it a fair shot. And then on the other half of my face, I'm not gonna use any primer at all because a lot of people don't use a primer. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just wanna show you guys the difference if you don't wanna use a primer or if you choose to use the one that it comes with. Not comes with, but the one that they suggest you should use with it. So I'm gonna put the primer on this half of my face and this is just a cooling matte primer. I already tried this in my video. So sad, but I really liked it. It was very refreshing on the skin. It felt really nice. And it is a very thick primer for what I was expecting at least. So you kind of need a little bit more to cover your face because it is so thick. It's not thick in a bad way. Like it actually feels really, really lightweight on the skin, but it just has a thicker consistency. It also dries down really, really fast and it dries down to a matte finish and it makes your skin look and feel super soft. So, so far I am really liking this primer. Of course, I haven't had it on for too long, so I can't really like test out the longevity of it. But so far I do like this primer. Now I'm gonna take about almost a full pump of the foundation and put it on this side of my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender. So you guys can see it's a lot darker than at my skin tone. It does kind of match my body, but it's still a little bit too dark. I have kind of a weird skin tone because my face has a red undertone and then my body has a yellow undertone. So I actually do like to wear foundations that have a yellow base to them just because then it will match my body and my neck. You can see this side matches my neck and my body way more than this side right now because this has such like a pale red I don't know, it's weird. And it does dry down pretty quick. 
it dries down to a matte finish and it's a very beautiful matte finish. It doesn't look like powdery or just too dry. It actually looks very skin-like. So you can see it's not completely full coverage. You can still see some of my redness like right here and you can still see my pimple. You can build this up. I don't prefer to only because I don't wanna to put too much product on my face. So I actually like the way that it's a medium coverage. Now I'm gonna go in and do the other side with a brush. The brush I'm using is a Morphe E31 brush. I actually think I might like it with the brush a little bit better. It kind of looks exactly the same, so I guess it doesn't really matter what you blend it out with, but I think I do prefer the brush only because it was faster. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like without any powder or concealer or anything on the skin. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see up close what it looks like. Okay, so I just finished off my makeup and I used the setting spray. What is going on? I think I used too much because I already, I had to take a foundation brush and like literally stipple over my entire face because I had these little white dots over everything. What the hell is going on? I'm so happy I took a picture of it. You guys are gonna die when you see this. Like I, I don't understand. Look at my face! I wish I would have gotten that on camera. I'm so sad that I didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, luckily it just wiped off. I wish you guys could see how bad it is. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what to do. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I have to have a broken one. There's no way. Because I actually sprayed kind of a lot because I felt like it wasn't coming out. It's almost like it was coming out like straight up and down, like in a line, because I could feel it. So I sprayed it a bunch like side to side. The first time I used it this morning, it came, it was like a really beautiful, like soft mist. And then when I just sprayed it now, it's like the mist was so soft that I didn't even feel it hitting my face, except for like three dots going down the center. And so I kept spraying it and then I looked in the mirror and that happened. I'm so confused right now. Okay, everything is fixed now. I don't think I have any white dots left on my face. Oh my God, my sweatshirt. My sweatshirt was black and it is now gray. Look at, my microphone is covered too. Anyways, I finished off all my makeup. Everything that I used is gonna be listed down below in the description box. I used the um, brand new Too Faced setting powder, the, the peach one, not the Born This Way one on half my face and then I used my other one on the other half. So everything's gonna be listed down below in the description box if you are wondering what makeup I used. It is now 4.15 p.m. So I'm really gonna try and make it to 10 hours. I plan on filming this way early this morning but then I had to work so I had to film this after I got off work. So I'm gonna hopefully make it till 2 a.m. to be like 10 hours. I probably won't even be home till like one which will be perfect because then I'll just come back and show you guys what it's looking like. So I will see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, don't mind my messy room, but I forgot to show you guys what my face looked like after I put the powder and concealer on it. So I just wanna show you guys quick, and it's already been two hours and it looks exactly the same. Still have not gotten oily at all, which is pretty good because sometimes I can wear foundations and within 30 minutes, I'm like an oily mess. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my face is looking like. So this is what my skin looks like. As you can see, it does not look oily at all. My lipstick is coming off. <laughs> so as you can see, my skin still looks super soft after I set it with powder and everything, which I was really impressed with. And I love the way it's looking. So as I said, it's only been about two hours. I'm gonna come back in probably like another two hours before we go see the movie. We're seeing the movie It tonight. Super excited because, well, I'm not afraid of clowns. I don't mind them, but Kyle is like deathly afraid of them. He's like a little baby when it comes to seeing like clowns in movies and stuff. So I think it's hilarious and I can't wait to see it, how he's gonna act. But I'm sure I'll be home by one and then I'm gonna do my last update at like right when I get home. So probably like 2 a.m. So I hope it holds up good. I think it will because so far so good. I will see you guys in a couple hours. Okay guys, so I just did the same exact thing that I did this morning and I forgot to turn the stupid microphone on. So I'm gonna insert clips of before I touched up. I literally just did this like two minutes ago and I looked down and it wasn't on. So 
I'm just gonna kind of like re-say everything that I just said and then insert clips of that I just recorded. So it is 1.10 in the morning. It's been nine hours and 40 minutes and this is what my skin looks like and I think it looks really, really good. It was hardly oily at all. The only place that I was getting oily was like right about here and then down here it is starting to come off. It's because I do rest my hands on the lower half of my face a lot. It was also starting to come off a little bit above my eyebrows but the only reason why you could really see that is because the foundation was a lot darker than my skin tone at this point. But other than that, it looks amazing and I'm super, super impressed with how well it held up on my skin. 90% of the foundations that I try do not hold up with my oily skin. So what I did was I just took a little tiny, tiny bit of this Too Faced powder. I took a little bit on my brush and then I just pressed it over super lightly where I was getting oily and it completely mattified it again. That was the first time I touched up my face at all. So I went the entire 10 hours without no touch-ups, no powder, no blotting sheets, nothing. Also, this side, the one that I used the primer and the Too Faced setting powder on, looks about the same as this side. So the foundation did do a really good job even working without a primer or that setting powder. The only thing that I did notice is that this side that I did use the primer on, my cheek looks a lot softer. I feel like my pores just look a little bit smaller on this side. And I feel like that's because of the primer. That's the only difference that I'm noticing. But other than that, I think it held up like a champ and I'm super happy with how it works. So if you guys have oily skin like I do, I would highly, highly recommend this foundation. Even if you don't have oily skin, I did read online that this is for any skin type. And just judging by the way that it looks on my skin, it looks very, very soft and very skinny skin-like and I really love the finish of it. So I think this would be good on any skin type. So yeah, I am gonna be doing videos like this every single Friday from now on. I'm gonna try and upload two a week, but if I don't get to two, then I'm gonna be doing one every single Friday. So let me know down below any foundations that you want me to try out because I'm gonna be doing this forever now. So I'm gonna be able to try out any foundations that you guys want. So let me know down there and I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.